Welcome to Orange Line. I'm your host, Ashley Payne. Recently, a lot of students have been getting sick, and some even have gotten staff. Rena Murphy has more. Many Baker students are getting sick, and some have even gotten staff. Nurse Ruth's office has been very busy lately with all the illness. We've had a few cases on campus, and um, the main thing is um, just the cleanliness around uh, many areas and I kind of compare it to last year when we were preparing for the H1N1 flu that everyone needs to be vigilant about all the areas not just I think you know questions were raised about the weight room or the fitness center and um, Coach Rigolato has been very much active on, on uh, the cleanliness of those areas that's his area of expertise as far as the uh, advisor for those areas Cleanliness is the main issue, and it is important for students to wash their hands frequently and clean gym equipment after working out. Lots of hand washing, a uh, lot of, uh, with the athletes, the antibacterial soap for showers and cleaning, and uh, new clothes for each practice session, not things that they've worn before and, and have soiled, and new clothing. And for uh, the general population on campus is just, um, again, the uh, like computer stations, you know, washing your hands and making sure that uh, even to to uh, clean off the keyboards before use and and uh, some of the general cleanliness issues uh, for to fight against skin infections. If you are afraid that you may have staph or other illnesses, it is important to get it checked out as soon as possible. I'm Rena Murphy reporting for KMBU TV. Students at Baker University were treated to a special experience today. Tuesday was Baker University's second annual Majors Fair, where those who are either looking for a major or minor visited with professors and students to get a better idea of what that major entails. While this event may be tailored for a freshman class, there were students from all years present. Now we're going to take a look at the Old Castle Museum. More with Mary Loveland. Behind Collins Gym is a 152-year-old building that many people have forgotten about. The Old Castle Museum was Baker's first building on campus, but it has also been a mill, a wash house, a university president's home, and now it houses piles of unidentified artifacts. There are three stories in the Old Castle Museum, but only one is occasionally open to the public. Although future goals for this building include opening all three floors for display, Jenny McCallow, Director of Archives and Museum, says that that could take five to ten years. We faced, you know, cuts just like everyone else on campus did. So we're looking at ways to reuse materials that we have and just kind of scrape by for a while. And then we're looking at ways to partner with different academic departments, to do some fundraisers of our own, and then to turn it back into a real community museum. Organizing, identifying, and recording the artifacts is a lengthy process that has kept the museum from opening its doors full time. Fortunately, a group of students on campus has given the Old Castle new hopes. Junior Andrew Woodworth is organizing this group to help fundraise and catalog some of the items. Another issue that we're having is there's very little funding for archives and for Old Castle. And so as a result, not a lot can get done without either volunteer efforts, which is what we're hoping to get, or fundraising efforts, which is also what we're hoping to help with. With the support of this new group and continued efforts by McCullough, Old Castle will be able to preserve Baker's history. This has been Mary Loveland, KNBU TV. Thanks, Mary. And now we're going to take a commercial break. But up next, we have a new segment called Baker Beat.